Tonight, after weeks of false starts, roadblocks, and a very public legislative collapse. But the ayes are 217, the nays are 213. The bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Republicans took the first huge step to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Today was a big day, but it is just one step in this process, an important step. We still have a lot of work to do to get this signed into law. An 11th hour change, clearing the way for President Trump's first significant legislative victory. This is a repeal and a replace of Obamacare. Make no mistake about it. Make no mistake. But with significant roadblocks awaiting in the Senate, one that still leaves them exceedingly far away from signing a final bill into law. Despite an at times tortured internal process for House Republicans that just 42 days ago was pronounced completely dead, I don't know what else to say other than Obamacare is the law of the land. A calculation that now exactly is the time to move the something, anything, forward. Rallied along in a closed-door meeting by the Rocky theme song and a motivational quote from General George Patton, sources tell CNN. In Virginia, we know Obamacare has failed. So as statesmen, do we just sit back and say, I told you so? Or do we find a solution to the problem? I think as statesmen on both sides of the aisle, people should come forward with their ideas to solve the problem. But the political ramifications, both on the process and the policy, threaten to be devastating. Republicans rushed the vote through before they received an updated score on how much the plan would cost or how many people it would cover. And just 17 hours after the final text of the bill was posted publicly, it was a move that drew sharp attacks from furious Democrats. Forcing a vote without a CBO score shows that the Republicans are afraid of the facts. They're afraid of learning the full consequences of their plan to push Americans with pre-existing conditions into the cold, or as my colleague from New York said, into the, off the sidewalk. If Republicans thought they were really protecting people, they wouldn't be afraid of the facts. Attacks that will reverberate across defeat. districts in campaign ads for years to come. Something Democrats not so subtly hinted at on the House floor just after the vote, singing this. But the members themselves brushed and off the concern about the process. How do you know this is going to be right, given that there is no CBO analysis to, to, weigh, to exactly say how many people would lose coverage and the impact this would have on the economy? I know we're doing the right thing. But how? I know. Even as some in their own party raised the very same problems, with Senator Lindsey Graham tweeting, quote, a bill finalized yesterday has not been scored, amendments not allowed, and three hours final debate should be viewed with caution. The policy itself goes a long way to accomplishing what Republicans have campaigned on for years. It puts an end to Obamacare's Medicaid expansion and fundamentally changes the program, repeals the individual mandate and tax increases, all as it gives states the opportunity to opt out of two of the law's central regulations, mandatory health benefits for insurance plans and price protections for those with pre-existing conditions. It's a fundamental transformation of a system that encapsulates one-sixth of the U.S. economy. One Republican leader say is precisely what they were elected to do. Republicans are committed to keeping our promise to lift the burden of Obamacare from the American people and put in place a better, more patient-centered system. But Democrats insist this isn't over. Some of you have said, well, they'll fix it in the Senate. But you have every provision of this bill tattooed on your forehead. You will glow in the dark on this one. You will glow in the dark. You will glow in the dark. So don't walk the plank.